Hey Sagittarius, it's your girl Tarot Card Bay. I'm here to do your reading for you made a play or fall in love for December. Happy birthday, by the way. We're going to look at the overall energy for the player. We're going to look how the player feels about you. And at the very end, we're going to look at the next step the player will take towards you. So let's jump in. Overall energy for Sagittarius player for the month of December. We have power. This is Scorpio energy. Eighth house, moon, in Scorpio. Riches, which is Capricorn, 10th house, Saturn energy. And we have companionship, which is Aquarius, 7th house, moon, energy. So this player is really focused on self, achievement, finances, control, power, right? I do see this person could be seeking a connection, like multiple companions or a connection that makes them feel in power, like someone who will stroke their ego, someone who won't talk down to them or someone who won't stand their ground, someone that they can fully have control and power over. But at the core of the overall energy, this is about finances for this player, finances and power. This is the energy of someone who, if they don't have what they want to have financially, it's like that's where their insecurity lies. Their insecurity doesn't necessarily lie when it comes to their looks or being able to communicate with people, their social skills, their insecurity would lie in finances. Like this is a person who, who could have everything. They could have the nice car, nice home, nice body, nice, you know, nice wardrobe. But because they idealize power, they idealize sometimes these unrealistic Examples like social media examples, people on social media that make millions at 30 and they're multimillionaires. This person is always seeking more money to get to the, to the very top of success that they've created in their own mind mixed with, mixed with the influence of social media. Because I do feel that. This could be a person who also seeks partners based on the money that the partners have or what the partner can do for them financially. No matter if this is a masculine energy or a feminine energy, I get more masculine right now. Um, but no matter masculine or feminine energy, this is a person who seeks power and finances through their partnerships, through their relationships and for themselves. Let's clarify this companionship fulfillment in reverse. So that's interesting. That's Aries ninth house energy, fulfillment in reverse. So their current connections aren't making them happy. So it doesn't matter how many lovers they may have. I even get that this could be friendships as well, not making them happy. They're feeling emotionally detached from their love interests and their friends around them. So this is someone who could have connected with someone due to finances, but they're not fulfilled by that person emotionally. Like there's something missing in that connection. Rebellion, Aquarius, 11th house. And we have control. Control and power came out together. So again, those are things that are very important to this person. For some of you, this player got involved with someone who took advantage of them financially or controls them financially. So it could be a situation where this player went into a connection thinking they were going to get a lot from the connection and that person that they chose ended up messing them up financially, taking their money somehow, some type of control this person has over them due to finances, due to status, due to something in society. All right, let's see how this player feels about you. I do see for a lot of you, this is like a no contact situation with the player. We had the Ace of Wands in reverse before I shuffled at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, you're not talking to this person or communication has been blocked or delayed. Let's see how this player feels about Sagittarius. Look at that. <laughs> Eight of Wands. So they do want to communicate. It's almost like they fight this feeling. They may have wanted to reach out to you several times. That's why I got it up upside down and then right side up 
this person goes back and forth if they should reach out to you or not, but they, they like to connect with you. They like to talk to you. They like to hear your voice. They like to be in frequent exchange of communication with you. How else does this person feel? Look at that. Two of Pentacles. What did I say? Going back and forth when it comes to if they should reach out or not, if they should connect with you or not. I even get for some of you, they, they wonder why they even think about you. So this could be a person from a long time ago, or this could be a person who you haven't known for a long period of time, but they're really connected and invested when it comes to you. But there is that juggling energy of going back and forth, coming from a place of stability, Coming from a place of being grounded, going to a place of emotion. Again, this person is like teeter tottering when it comes to their emotions and how they should reach out and connect with you. Nine of Pentacles. That's how they see you, Sagittarius. They see you as somebody who is abundant or they feel that you're abundant. If this person does not have the ability to connect with you, they see you as someone who has your shit together. They see you as someone who is at peace. You see this nine of pentacles is like very peaceful, enjoying the fruits of her labor, enjoying her surrounding, dressed very regally, looking at the little bird on her hand, just a very serene and abundant type of energy. And that's how this person sees you. That's how they feel about you. That's what they think about you. Let's clarify this nine of pentacles, queen of cups. This person has unconditional love for you and they could feel that you have unconditional love for them as well, Sagittarius. There is an energy of unconditional love here. So far we have wands, pinnacles, and we have water. So that's earth, air, excuse me, earth, fire, water energy. So you could be dealing with a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person sees you as the nine of pinnacles and the queen of cups. So they know that you have the ability to be nurturing, loving, generous, but in that queen energy, that's where your standards lie. That's where you don't, you know, you have to queen up into this energy and want someone to meet you and meet your expectations to be able to live in your world and to be able to receive your cup of love. All right, let's see. What's in this person's heart when they... When it comes to Sagittarius, what is in this person's heart when it comes to Sagittarius? Judgment. And the Eight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords. That's what's in the heart energy. This is an energy of someone who could have got you trapped in your head or caused some type of anxiousness or anxiety in your life they could have felt that energy on they could have projected that energy to you but it's like they want they want to redo because there's some guilt associated with this this um eight of swords i keep wanting to say eight of wands but this eight of swords energy there's guilt associated with it it's like now this person wants to be the knight in shining armor now this person wants to rush in they want to help you come out of that eight of swords that they they initially they put you in this eight of swords, but they want to rush into you and help you out of this. They want to redo. They want to show you that they can be this knight. They can be someone dependable. They can be someone who is there when you need them. There can be someone who even acts quickly. So this may be a person who did not act quickly in the past. They could have made you wait for their love offer. They could have just kind of left you hanging in general, kept you stuck in this eight of swords energy. But now they want to read you to show you that they can be your savior in a certain sense. However, they know that you don't need a savior. This person might not know what you need. And that could have been the reason why they delayed in the past. They don't know what you need or they feel whatever you need, Sagittarius, they can't provide to you. All right. What's the obstacle? In this connection what's the obstacle in the connection with the player one card for the obstacle the empress in reverse no growth what did i say not moving not growing not flourishing a lack of feminine energy so that person could have not been emotionally expressive um no abundance 
So at some point this connection was halted and that was, that was what blocked the connection from growing. All right, what was your response in, from this? I feel like some of you walked away or a lot of you walked away Sagittarius. Look at that. Five of pentacles for leaving that shit out in the cold. Six of wands looking for victory elsewhere. Four of pentacles in reverse, not holding on to this. So yeah, that was your reaction to this person not feeding the connection emotionally. You leaving the situation out in the cold, even if it made you feel abandoned. Because when we love someone and we have to separate from them, it hurts both parties. It doesn't just hurt the person that you leave, you, that left, you left. <laughs> it also hurts the person who has to make the decision to leave when there's real love there. So you put both of you, Sagittarius, both of you were put in the five of pentacles due to you walking away and seeking victory elsewhere. All right. What's this person's likely most... Most likely next steps towards my Sagittarius. Most likely next steps. Six of swords in reverse. This person wants to come back. Ten of pentacles. Huh. So whoever, I feel like you made the decision to leave this alone, Sagittarius, or whoever made the decision to leave it alone, the other person didn't pursue it. So, for example, if you said, you know what, I'm tired of this not growing, I'm tired of this not changing, I'm tired of this connection not being what I want it to be and fulfilling me, I'm going to walk away. This person like walked away also. They didn't pursue you. They didn't try to stop you. They didn't profess love. Now they want to reverse that. They thought they were going to calmer waters like, OK, this is a rocky connection. This isn't working. Let me go to calmer waters. Now they want to come back and they want the Ten of Pentacles with you. All right, what's the most likely outcome between Sagittarius and the player? Was that you, Shug? I don't know what that noise was. What's the most likely outcome? Ace of Pentacles. It's highly possible you will have a new start with this person. When will this happen? I usually don't ask when. Knight of Cups. I get in the spring. I don't know why Knight of Cups reminds me of the spring, but it does. Yeah. That could be like Pisces season. There is a high possibility that you will have a redo with this person. Will this redo be successful? Let's see. I got seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here? Page of wands. Knight of pentacles in reverse. So the things that would make this connection successful is one, you have to completely do a redo. It has to be new. It has to be fresh. With that page of wands, that's a brand new beginning, positive messages. It can't be focused on the past, past deception, no matter who did the deception. Because once you decide to forgive and redo, you have to let go of the past. That might have been a problem you all had before, not letting go of the past, but still trying to reconnect. So again, if, if you want this Ace of Pentacles, it has to be a, a new shiny Ace of Pentacles, a new connection with this person. You have to relearn each other, learn each other's love languages, learn each other's communication styles, learn why this person does what they do and they need to learn about you. What's your motivation behind your actions? And there also cannot be no movement like slow movement is fine. But if there's no progress from whoever delayed the progress in the situation um, in the past. That can't happen again. It has to constantly grow and evolve. And also this person needs to let you know that they have a destination and a plan because the Knight of Pentacles upright, it makes it, he makes it to his destination. He brings a pentacle. He has a plan. No matter how slow moving the plan actually is, there's still a plan in motion. When it's in reverse, there was nothing being brought. There was nothing being offered. And that type of energy cannot continue if this connection is going to be loving and successful. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I love you. Happy birthday. My mom's a Sagittarius. She just had a birthday. Um, I hope you're being loved on. I hope you're being showered with gifts and attention and good food. And your next reading will be your three month prediction. If you like this reading, hit the thumbs up, comment below, talk to me nicely, and I'll see you soon. I love you. Bye bye.